Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on November 3rd, day after FOMC, wild FOMC. First, it looked like he was going to be dovish, then he was hawkish, and now it's committed to hawkish. Let's quickly look at the tenure. Um, on the hourly, you'll see, I mean, you are all there, right? Up to 408, bang, down to 397, looked very bearish. And then during the presser, he sounded very hawkish. So here we are, 411. We're definitely um, in above that 408 pivot. So sort of back foot on risk now and looking to buy dollars. What's going to be the best vehicle to buy dollars today? I'm going to say cable. Um, so what are we looking to do? We're trying to sell this thing probably between, I don't know, 114.10 and 114.40. Um, we like this just because there's a lot of negative shit going on in the UK. Um, and this could easily you know, one piece of bad news, and this could really easily hit the shitter, um, so you could argue maybe the second best is maybe dollar cad now, this was our horse short dollars because of that 135 level, but this looks very powerful here, um, but I don't know where to get long dollar cad, so we're going to use, we're going to use cable as our horse today. You can see Aussie, all of these did these big bearish engulfing. And so you kind of want to look to basically 63.70. Um, you can see overnight, this is what people were doing. They were selling these little rallies. Um, the London systems are going to are gonna buy dollars at the open today. So I'm going to be careful and balance this with something that's something that's appropriate euro it's all the same chart right so you got this big bearish engulfing FOMC day uh, it's just a question of where do you want to get long dollars <coughs> I don't like dollar yen even though that has the strongest global macro um, story here as in very very dovish BOJ um, very very dovish monetary policy in Japan very very hawkish in the US but of course, the intervention risk makes this one a little bit dicey, so uh, we stay away from that. And dollar Swiss, we also stay away from just because um, above parity in dollar Swiss, often this pair has trouble. And you can see historically, I can even put this on the monthlies or the weeklies. Anytime you get above parity, this is 101, 102, this is 101. Uh, dollar Swiss has trouble so again um, you get to pick your own horse today we're gonna we're gonna choose sterling uh, I'll try and short some sterling today get long some dollars we had some big news in crypto yesterday and crypto went ballistic JP Morgan did a transaction on polygon they did a foreign exchange transaction they swapped yen digital yen for digital Singapore dollars um, they did identity man. They have this new identity management services. They're calling VC, um, not venture capital. It's verifiable credentials. Uh, this is all done on a public blockchain. This is incredibly interesting for these type of blockchain currencies. Why? Because these are the infrastructure ones. So, Matic. As most of you probably know, Polygon is a chain uh, that's cheap to use, super fast, super scalable. Uh, it's kind of a comp in competition with Ethereum. You can stake these coins. Um, you know, Ethereum, you get paid 5%. Solano, you get paid 7 Matic, I think you get paid maybe 7.5% if you stake this stuff. Uh, Phantom. Cardano, near all of these coins here are the same sort of infrastructure, not Stellar. Let's get Stellar out of there. Uh, AVEX also. Um, so you can, this is why there's been some big 
upside moves in crypto, especially Matic. Uh, Matic is one of the few coins here that's above its 200-day moving average. Um, but, you know, you can see a lot of these guys are approaching. 1,700 is the 200-day for Ethereum. Um, that'll be very, very interesting to see how that reacts there. Probably a sell first time. Um, but anyway, we own Matic. Um, we like it. I mean, we own it around 90 cents. Um, but this is very interesting news, and this is why the crypto world, <coughs> especially the infrastructure coins, you can see Bitcoin's lagging quite a bit because th this has nothing to do with Bitcoin. <coughs> Bitcoin's purely a currency. These other coins are the native coins for the infrastructure. Um, and if you're not up to speed on this, do some reading on it. We are strong believers, let's put it that way. I spent the last 18 months working on digital projects, um, and we are strong believers in this basket of coins here, especially Ethereum, Solana, and Polygon. Um, Phantom, Cardano, Nier, and and AVEX, uh, these are all similar. They're all sort of in competition with each other. I think there's going to be many different infrastructures. There's not going to be one sole infrastructure. So, like, I don't know. If real estate's going to be on one of these chains. Maybe Solana Artwork is going to be on another one. Maybe AVEX. And, and there'll be different protocols used by different banks and different institutions. So, there's room for many many of them to succeed um, but we like Ethereum, Solana and Matic as our, our, our main horses here anyway I digress with a little crypto chat there uh, as far as FX is concerned like I said we're going to try and buy some dollars today and equities should, should go lower right uh, it's kind of the same trade we haven't been trading S&Ps much at all but if I had to, I'd probably sell this stuff, 3790, 3800. Um, and then finally, crude is not doing much. We were just everyone sound asleep in the crude world. Um, just stuck between 85 and 95. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. Good luck out there. Make some dough. I will uh, talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.